Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly clear your Gmail cache on a web browser. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. You log on to Gmail using the web browser of your choice. All web browsers have a cache that you use to store information on your computer so that it works faster and more efficiently. Over time, however, this can cause problems to creep in. These can often be easily solved by clearing the cache on your web browser. I'll show you how to do this for the Chrome web browser which I use. If you use a different browser, the steps may be slightly different. I need to go into the settings in Chrome to clear my cache. I can do this by moving my mouse to the top right of the browser. And I'll click on the three dots or ellipsis icon shown there. My list of options is then presented. Let's scroll down to the settings choice near the bottom. I'll click on that once to choose it. On the settings page, I'll move my mouse to the left hand panel and click once on the privacy and security option to select that. Once opened, I'll move down the page a little and I need to go into the cookie section of the browser to clear the cache. I'll click on that once to open it. On the cookies page, I want to only delete the cached information stored for Gmail. So I'll start by clicking on the option to see all data and permissions. This shows a list of all the websites that have cached information. To find Gmail's data, I'll click on the search option at the top right of the page and search for Google. Google.com should then be shown. You'll see there's a small drop down arrow to the right of the Google row. If I click on that, a list of all the Google websites that have cached information is shown. But the only one we're interested in is mail.google.com. This relates to Gmail. To clear the Gmail cache only, I'll click on the delete icon on the far right of that row. Google then confirms that we'll be logged out of our Gmail account and any permissions we've chosen, such as whether to turn on email notifications, will be reset. Remember, the emails in our Gmail won't be impacted in any way. Finally, I'll click on the blue clear button to confirm that. The Gmail cache has now been cleared. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.